Hi and welcome. Gosh, I always gotta turn that down. Oh, that's too much. Thank you for watching. This is my watercolor process time lapse video thing. Uh, I have never done this before, so bear with me. Um, just to tell you a little bit about what's going on here. Using basic paints that, well, one of them's Windsor Newton, but the palette you see there in the upper part of the screen, I, I think I just got that at Hobby Lobby. I'm just recently getting into watercolors. I haven't been doing it and I haven't been painting in a long time. So uh, as of this year, I really started picking it back up. Traditionally, I did a lot of oil paintings, but this year I decided to go a different direction and try the watercolors. So as of right now, I picked up a cheap palette, at the local store, and I've been experimenting with it. You can see a couple of my previous videos. There's different paintings I've put together, but uh, had a person interested in commissioning a piece and I've never done a large watercolor painting. So it's something to try out. Uh, they were excited to have something pretty large. And so I thought, why not? Let's go for it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a different experience. The watercolor paper did do some buckling uh -huh, but it wasn't too much. I tried pre-stretching it. It's on a giant mirror to hopefully, you know, be a solid, rigid back uh, backboard to hold it. Um, didn't hold it very well. So I'll have to try something new next time when I do. I, I probably just need it like a thicker tape around the edges and maybe not go so big. This is This ended up being about 32 inches by 32 inches. And every time it got pretty wet the, the the paper did some did some waving so i tried pre-stretching it guess i'm not doing that correctly i need to change my technique on that but i'm completely new to watercolor so i'm i really don't know what i was doing i uh, just watched a couple of youtube videos to try to figure out what i was doing what i needed to do because i knew that that would be a problem going forward so um yeah that's about it my my paintbrushes are just some cheapo paintbrushes that I found at the store uh, and they worked out wonderfully. I still had a lot of leftover stuff from my oil painting days, but some of the paintbrushes were kind of messed up, so I needed to grab some new ones. So thanks for watching. I'll dip out of this and let you guys finish up watching it. Uh, and hopefully I'll be doing some more here in the future. So thanks for watching.